scientists are really trying to understand why. How is it even possible? Coral shouldn't even exist here. My name is Wayne Andrew. I work with the One Reef here in Palau. Uh, we support the communities across Micronesia. Our scientists at the Coral Reef uh, Center have been studying this location with uh, Stanford University. And what they found really truly amazing about this place is that coral shouldn't even exist here. They've tested the water, acidity of the water here is what scientists predict at the end of the century. The corals uh, in this water is driving and so vibrant and colorful. But it's the acidity of the water that's really interesting because there are places around the world where they have tested the same level of acidity and no coral exists. Why? How is it even possible? And it's because it's been sheltered and protected with the shade from the trees on top of the rock islands uh, that has given it the ability to grow. Even with warm temperature, the shade can actually cool the water and the corals can continue to, to survive. Palawans believe that what we have is a blessing, especially the ocean. Uh, we believe that the, the ocean is our father and the land is our mother. And so we always care for our mothers and our fathers. We are born stewards of these places. Our ancestors always instill in us stewardship to maintain this uh, ecosystem, but it's also helping us survive on these islands. Because of climate change, warming of water temperature, the air temperature, we're seeing massive coral bleaching on our reefs. That is really driving the fish population down. When the water temperature gets hot, the fish, you know, lose their home. How can we call on our friends in the world to help us, especially the countries who are really developed because they are the ones, you know, emitting more carbon into the atmosphere. That's really causing all of these problems that we're seeing here. And we feel sometimes hopeless that we can't really do anything about it. This is also important for our generation today to be united and to be loud, you know, to ask the global community to help us. Our ancestors over many generations have always practiced uh, conservation. We call it bull. And bull is our traditional way of uh, closing an area when our uh, chiefs or our traditional uh, leaders understand that some resources are on a decline and needs time to replenish, to rebound. We're actually closing off 80% of our waters, the entire EEZ, uh, from fishing. And, and that's the message we're trying to send to the world is that, look, we are the ones suffering. We want you to hear us. We cannot survive on our own. Together, we can do this. You can help us uh, be a voice, tell our story, 
And I'm sorry to say it, but I don't want these islands to be gone. And then that's when we can take action. That's why we want to stand up first and show the world that we can do something. I see a future that is vibrant. Communities are coming together. There's still a strong sense of connection with nature, uh, the ocean, the land. We see lots of fish, uh, beautiful corals, and not just that, but you know, our community is able to continue to survive. That's what's really important to us. And that's our vision for the future that we want to maintain.